Good morning, friends. Uh, it is Monday. It, it's about 8. I just dropped off my son at school. Uh, he's been off for the last two weeks for winter break. And um, the reason I'm making this video is as a Twitter response to my friend Peter. Um, on my other account, uh, at Damn Dad on Twitter, we've sort of had a a short back and forth, um, and I'm triggered now. <laughs> I was triggered last night. Uh, what triggered me? Uh, faith, the word faith. Um, he asked if I have faith, and um, I don't know that I do have faith, but just supposing that I do, his example was, if you're going to start a new business, um, you, you you have faith in it, right? You're going to, you have faith that it's going to be successful. You haven't made any sales yet, so you don't know. You're, you're going on faith or hope or trust that you're not wasting your time, right? Well, are you? Because, so my immediate response, my immediate thought um, in, in Twitter size uh, to, his, to his question was, well, you know, what if the business is a lemonade stand on a snow day? Are you using faith or trust uh, in that situation? And I think the answer is, <laughs> yeah, which is why you don't see lemonade stands on snow days. Because faith is not enough in any other aspect of life. Um, it's true that if it's, you know, minus five outside and there's six feet of snow, someone could buy, could come by your little lemonade stand and, uh, you know, feel like they want to buy a couple of bucks worth of lemonade from like the really cute kids that are standing out there in the cold. Um, but, but we don't do that. And I think there's a good reason for that. Faith is... Faith is a tool that is, I, I'm, I'm trying to meter my words here, obviously. Faith is, is useless. Faith is not a tool that we use in everyday life to help us make decisions or determine what's true or what's right. We use other evidence, like, are people thirsty when it's minus five? Do they want a frosty beverage to have? Um, you know, in the middle of the snow day, that that would be the number one thing. So, faith tells us nothing useful about what we're going to embark in. I have faith I'll make money today. But if you use faith to say open a business or believe in God or whatever, this is the this is the primary mistake. When you are out there freezing your ass off trying to sell some lemonade and nobody comes by, if you decide to open again tomorrow, you are using faith um, in exactly, I think, the same way that you do when you believe in a God or rely on a God especially. You are asking for that God to uh, return something to you, I, I guess, some peace or or hope or or even an answer to a prayer. And it's just like lemonade stands on a snow day when no one shows up um, to buy your lemonade. You you forgive that using faith. You just say, well, I have more faith that tomorrow um, I'll sell something. Now, eventually the weather's going to turn warmer and one day you will get a sale. You might even get a sale the first day, um, as we said. But faith isn't the tool that is going to help you really determine success. It might be your, your reason for doing it, but that's not, we just don't use that any other, in any other aspect of our lives. And I think, 
I think that's apparent. So, um, I don't think faith is is useful, and I have given uh, the, the the following example. Faith is like a codependent parent of a heroin addict. That the 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 child, the adult child, we hope. Oh God, we hope it's not a minor child. Anyway, the adult child is still living at home, right? And the parent is so in love and so codependent. Um, with their child that they they can't possibly throw that, that kid out. Um, even though they're doing drugs and they're stealing and they're, you know, pawning the, they're, they're, they're pawning the parents' personal stuff and they're going through mom's purse and they're stealing dad's wallet and, you know, all these terrible things that this, that this heroin addict does. The, the parent has faith that um, that the kid is going to get better. And so here's the difference between faith and hope. Faith is granted in spite of reason or evidence. And it's rarely revoked. It's only when you, when you just finally throw your hands up and say that, you know, there's, <laughs> there's just no way this kid is going to get better. My brain has finally come to terms with the idea that my child is a heroin addict and they are not they're not going to get better but faith is what gets you going through each day in spite of the obvious evidence that there's no response here um that the kid is just going to keep going on until something else happens an arrest an overdose or they die and that's that's the way that you know, heroin addiction goes. Now, how is that different from hope? Well, I think you can hope that your kid gets better, uh, that they stop using drugs, but you can hope from a distance. Yes, I know my adult child is living on the street now, and I sincerely hope they get off the drugs and and as soon as they do, I will take them back in and I will prop them up and I will, um, you know, I, I will continue my hope that they get better. But I am not about to subject myself to the nonsense of their addiction. Um, and I, I think those are, I think that's a pretty good example of the way I feel about hope, uh, faith. So just to summarize, Faith is, is continued belief in a result or a thing or a whatever in spite of the evidence to the contrary. Um, it excuses the evidence to the contrary. Hope um, and trust, is, uh, trust is a, is a better um, sort of counterpoint to this faith thing. Um, trust, if I trust you, I may have just met you, um, I may like you, you might be my neighbor or whatever, you come over, man, I, my car's broken, I really, I really have to take my kid to school today. Okay, let me see what, what I can do. I will trust you, perhaps, to borrow my car and take your kid to school. But I have a backup for that. I have insurance, um... I know, I know that you have a valid driver's license at least. And if you come home having crashed my car or having, you know, jumped it over the school fence because you're an idiot, um, you guess what? You're not going to be able to take my car anymore. Probably ever. <laughs> um, but maybe, you know, trust is, is restorable, but faith isn't like that. You have a faith in a God you 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 give your your faith to that god um i believe in you i believe in you now i need something from you nothing happens or maybe something does happen you know maybe somebody gives you a hundred dollar bill tracked right when you need it or a million dollar bill tracked right when you need it um you know that says should you be rich or do you have the 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 riches of heaven and you respond 
to this. Uh, I you know, I don't need the, I don't need physical or uh, monetary riches. I want that security that when I die, I'm not going to roast in hell. So, you know, and, and then that touches your heart. But there's no, there's no evidence to support that that even exists. So, in, and and everything that we know about the natural world says that that stuff can't can't be possible. That there is no hell, um, and that even if there was, you don't have a physical body to accept the <laughs> the physical flames or whatever to to burn in hell. So in spite of all the evidence, you still believe that there is a God. And then when you finally ask for something, oh, you know, grandma is dying. I, I, God, give her either a, a, a speedy recovery or a, a, a quick passing, a quick painless passing. You know, don't, don't draw this out for years and years, please, God. And when those prayers are not answered, those desires are not answered, well, we, we just excuse them. We say, well... You know, God had a lesson to teach us. God wanted to teach us patience. No, I'm sorry. That's not how it works. That's an excuse for what God did or didn't do. Um, so that's sort of how I feel about faith. So I appreciate you um, checking out this video. And um, I apologize for my appearance, but not too much because fuck it. And um, I will uh, catch you guys later. I'm going to try to do some interviews today, but I don't think that's going to happen. My dog is unfortunately very sick um, and may not make it. So that's taking all the fun out of life, to be honest. And um, so anyway, we'll uh, hopefully see you this week with some with some interviews. Oh, and I promised that I will do a much better job of really asking those hard questions, you know, I'm going to get in there this week and really probe and really ask and, and make people look at this faith thing that they use. Um, you know, faith has, has always been my target and no one has yet dropped the F-bomb on me. So I haven't really been able to go after that. I guess I should try a little more steering to the F-bomb, but anyway, um, Anyway, that, that's my week. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will um, catch you later.